of your seats as we do just have an owl flying around right now. You would not want him to land on your head. He does have very sharp talons. Uh, sir, excuse me. There, all right, here, sir. Stop breathing me! Okay. Sorry, Ladies and gentlemen, please once again do not get up and move out of your seats as we do have animals coming in from all over the amphitheater. And once again, please do not use the flashes on your cameras or spot. Uh, Coach John Nascar already did his show. What are you doing? This is a warm up for you or for the cat? For the cat. So what's going to happen now? Higher jump. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, NASCA here is going to go for an even higher jump. Would y'all like to see that? Yeah! You in? Yeah! All right, let's see it. Here we go. Uh, can't go. All right. See, Nazca sees this as his own territory. He likes to come out and check everything out before he does anything. He wants to make sure everything's the way he was when he left it. Maybe he likes to rub his scent on some things. That's what he's trying to do now on the log there. Now you get a good close-up view of these servals up at our photography mount. These are one of the animals that are available for your photography this evening. Alright, here we go. Now, as you are touring the nice safari, you will come across many endangered species. And like the servo you just saw, they are all fighting a losing battle in the wild. It is estimated that 300 species go extinct every single year. And if we don't stop to do something about this, many more will join the list. Now, there are things we can do, like conserve, don't waste, things like water and electricity, and above all else, just don't litter. Now, it never fails that after the show, we find items that people have left behind. Now, these are common, everyday items that, if disposed of properly, would cause no problems whatsoever. What was it? Hey, I just told everybody here not to litter. This is not so my dustbin. Oh, that is it. These lovable raccoons, they're easily recognizable by their bandit masks and have become pests in some countries. But it's not entirely their fault. Our towns and cities have grown too close to their natural habitat. And together with the ever-diminishing forest, they've had no choice but to move into the human world to feed and to survive. Yeah, it makes me wonder what kind of trash we throw away that actually feeds them. Let's see what we have here. What do we got here? Oh, we got some of those items I was talking about. Let's have we got some paper cups. We got tin cans, even plastic bottles. All these things come from nature in one way or another, and they all have one thing in common. They can all be recycled. So let's call out two of my faithful assistants to show us what we can all do to start making a difference. Their partially wet paws give them a great sense of touch and coordination. They also have great vision both above and below the water. Here they come. This is Sill and Basil, the oriental small clawed otter, the smallest species of otter in the world. And they're here to show us that we need to be responsible while recycling to make sure the paper cups go in the paper cup department. Tin cans in the tin can department. Here we go. All right, that's can number one. Yes, basically, you got to pick up the cup. No, I don't think you have to do that. Yeah, we're here. Still got two at the same time. Here we go. Hey, you lost one. Here you go, we're here. So cute. Hey, look. Put it in. It is good. It is good. Hey, Sil, it's all done. Good boy, Basil. Hey, Sil, your uh, brother's all finished and you have now put no cans. Oh, oh, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, 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 Hey, 
juggler, just recycle a can. Let's go. There you go. One more to go. It's being covered by the leaf right there. There you go. You got it. And still is all done. Ah, there we go. Still and still, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in case you're wondering if we forgot about these plastic bottles, well, we haven't. Because here comes Pedro. He's a veteran in our recycling campaign. He's here to show us that even these plastic bottles, well, they can be recycled as well. Into the plastic department, there's one. Number two. And one last one. And Pedro, ladies and gentlemen. Good boy, Pedro. There you go. This segment has been brought to you by our partners in conservation, Nokia. So remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Now here at Night Safari, we have... Louie, I told you I'd help you find Maggie after the show. Please go. The poor uh, uh, Okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. One moment. It's Louie. Louie, okay. I'll, I, I understand. I'll help, you for, I'll help you for a minute, Louie. I think we'll all look. Okay. Louie, you got to tell me about how big is this Maggie. Is Maggie like Pedro the Otter you just saw about this big? What's going on? Something up there. Is she like Pedro the Otter about that big? About that big? She's around 10. Uh, what, I like, don't go my dog. 10 feet! <laughs>
So we're gonna have to get Maggie back to uh, Louie here. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Hold on. We got her. We got her. Hold on. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Get right there for me. All right. Oh, leg is not good. Good boy, boy. Leg. behind and enter into the second region for tonight, the Marshlands. First up, very pretty in pink, are the graceful greater flamingos, supermodels of the Marshlands. These pretty birds are usually seen standing on one leg even when they're sleeping. They do so in order to make the night herons. Birds. While resting on the sandbanks behind are the bar-headed geese. Perched on the fallen branches are some jet-black coloured birds. They are the black cormorants. And next to them are the pelicans, which are famous for the flexible throat pouches. They can store up to 20 litres of water. For those of you who are... Unfortunately to say they are all very highly endangered species. They are hunted by men for a single horn of visitors, medicinal and everyday insect properties. What's most ironic is that the Indian minor single horn is made up of the same substance of inhales are made up of keratin. And due to enormous poaching, there are only two thousand of these small miners left in the world.
football team and meet the Lions. Lions are the most special of all the cats in the Big Cats family. Each part will consist of one to two males, two to five females and several cubs. The females, which are much more smaller in size, can easily conceal themselves amongst the tall grass, predominantly to do the hunting. The role of the male is to attack the pride and defend its territory from other invading males. But once a lion is attacked, it will use the sound of thunderous roar, which can be heard over six miles, to scare away its attackers and to call for help. And with such might and power, it's no wonder they crowd the king of all the bees. There's another one up there. The fashion show. Fashion show. Do not touch the glass, she said. I'm not touching the glass. But can't open the glass. It's doing a fashion show. I love to put it at a country. fingerprints but these prints darken as they grow older you can see the cave buffaloes now the cave buffaloes well they might look docile but if they're attacked they might turn vicious well even the lion the wild pigs well these are the barbie rusas well take a look at the canines everyone now they used in all species of tapirs side. Well these are the bearded pigs. Bearded pigs and tata. Uh, well unfortunately beard, beard even the females have beard on them. <laughs> Raisable memory powers. Now take a look at the bull calf just together with the female elephant. Now the female elephant is just taking this bath right now, and uh, you can also see the bull calf. Now he's the joy and pride of Night Safari because he was born and raised here, and he's just four years old. Well, the elephant's trunk contains about 40,000 muscles and not even a single bone. And elephants can drink up to about 100 in a single day.
बाली कैटल अंतर अंतर And just towards the left side, well, you can see the maned wolf. Now, the maned wolf is found in South America, and it's known to the local residents over there as the fox on stilts. Well, this is because of its long, lengthy legs. And coming up next to the maned wolf, you can also see the largest rodents in the world. Well, these are the capybaras, the largest rats. That's right. right. Well, you can also see the Brazilian tapir. It's just next to the termite mound. And you can also see the giant anteater. And the giant anteater is just towards the right corner. Anteater. Just next to the termite mound. Well, you're very lucky tonight. And they can weigh 1,000 kilograms or even more. 1,000 kilograms.
menipte Peter. Congratulations. <laughs> Peter, Peter,
स्टिंगरे Oh, <laughs> 
ಎಷ್ಟು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಆಗಿದೆ Hey, you cannot climb up on the board, Shreyo. Tonight, here in Sentosa, under the Malayan's eyes, the 
most famous, the most marvelous musical fountains in the world. And me, I'm the most famous, the most marvelous fountain master in the world. And you know, my fountains are really smart. Hey, listen. Hey, not bad, eh? Another one? And now, the whole orchestra! Magical. 
It's also the world of our dreams.
quick, 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 quick. Ow, 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 ow. Look. I'm a great swimmer. Pretty sharp outfit. Yes! I get it! This is the way 